this coat is. I never know what to do with it. I know. Sly, this is like deja vu all over again. <laughs> uh, it is. <laughs> I mean, I, I come here like a, once a century and it feels like <sighs> time flies so fast. We first met on the junket, the press junket, mm -hmm. for the first Rocky in 1976. Yes, indeed. And I remember so well that uh, it, there was such an excitement, but at the same time, I wondered, and I have wondered since then, were you just scared out of your wits at that time? <laughs> because the film hadn't come out yet. I was think I was too stupid to be scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was just flabbergasted about the whole thing because you know, by when we made it, we never intended it to be more than like a, literally quote second billing at a drive-in, and uh, for you those those, those drive-ins don't exist. But so it was kind of a, a B film venture. So we had no idea. I never in my wildest dreams would ever anticipate anything like this. 30 years later is beyond comprehension. And then it went on to win the Oscar mm -hmm. over Taxi Driver, I, I, over Network. I know, great year. President's Men, uh, just you know, Seven Beauties, fantastic. So I was, what, what is it about the character? Because it isn't me, it's certainly it's the character that touched the nerve. And, and when uh, the last Rocky Five didn't uh, turn out and I felt as though I let people down, it became an all-consuming dream to just end it the way I should have ended it that time. And it took, it was harder by me to do this one than it was the first one. Well now the first one, if I am reading it correctly, you wrote in 86 hours? Yeah, well, that's true, but it wasn't very good. But at least, <laughs> see here, you have two ways. You can do it slow and good or fast and sloppy, but get it done. And I, I'm kind of fast and sloppy, get it done, and then do the rewrites. So I don't want people to think that, okay, here it is, let's go win Oscar. No, no, no. It was a, but at least got the concept down, the idea of who this guy was, and you know, bits and pieces, maybe 10% of it was salvageable. Who's inspired Rocky? Who was the original Rocky in your mind? Well, the original Rocky was, I, I think the fact that Rocky Marciano existed, and Rocky Graziano gave birth uh, to the belief that those kinds of characters can, do exist and then could exist in fiction. And Ali was a perfect template for Apollo Creed. So that's the original. People think there was Chuck Webner, it was, it was Rocky Marciano. But when I saw the fight between Webner and, and Ali, I went, oh, this is kind of interesting. This, is, this might make an interesting uh, metaphor for life. But isn't there some of Rocky in you, or some of you in Rocky? You know, I'd be flattered to have some of Rocky in me. I think he's a much better guy than I am. Uh, very, yes, especially in the first one and this one. Th these were real semi-biographical movies, and uh, there's no getting around it. That's why I think they're the best in the series. Your own philosophy, though, is, uh, you know, if you get a dream, is to follow it through. Yeah. You've always done that. Well, you know, we only go around once, and that's, that's, it's, if you're willing to put up with the humiliation and, you know, the, the, the dissenters and every now and then the voice inside of you going, quit, quit, quit. If you can just ride through that, I, I think it gives you life purpose and you'll feel better in the end. But it's just, it's frustrating because sometimes it takes seven years to get something done, seven years. And, but I'm, and my wife's crying every day, she said, don't do this, please don't do this. You know, you're gonna be embarrassed. I said, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, I'll feel a lot worse if I don't try. Are you ready for all the comedians and their jokes? Oh, sure. Are you kidding? No, I, I, I know would, you. I wouldn't be doing my job if they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> you will make the first joke, though. No, I swear to you. The, uh, the jokes when, when I first announced it, like the Jay Leno was making all this fun and Bill Maher, and now it's done, and I'm gonna go on their show with it, I think this is gonna be very ironic. It's gonna be great. Well, I, I'm thinking and predicting that they're going to say, okay, it's good. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I feel that it is really sly. It, yeah. This Rocky Balboa is a good film. I enjoyed it. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. And, uh, it's my love letter to the people that 
I've always liked Rocky, and I just wanted to close the show with dignity. Is this then kaput oh, for Rocky? Oh, for sure. Absolutely. This, he won't come back? No. <laughs> that's, he, that's he's not sure. going to get married again? No, my God. My knees can't take it. <laughs> <laughs> But Rambo's coming back, huh? Rambo is a very good chance Rambo's coming back. Uh, I, I've written a story, and I've got to think about it because it's a very volatile story. And um, whether it's, it's timely, whether America maybe is, has too much war right now, maybe there's enough violence to back off. I don't know if the timing is right. But I'm going to talk about that. Actually, I want to meet on that tomorrow. Okay, we'll wait to hear the outcome of that. Sure. Meanwhile, we'll look for Rocky Balboa to open on December the 20th. Yes, indeed. And uh, hopefully to very appreciative and very happy audiences. Yeah. And I thank you, dear Sly, for coming and letting me have a chance to visit with you again 30 years later. Well, you're something. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Thank